Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Nikita Gupta. Today we will be talking about how to land an internship in your second year, third year. And we have a special guest who will be sharing their experience, how they land an internship in a big tech company, what are some tips and tricks. So if you are looking for an opportunity, especially on the internship side, feel free to subscribe to this channel, follow the whole video and learn a little bit more. And on top of it, because we are providing free career services tools through career flow, go and check out the career flow website because we have a LinkedIn Chrome extension, which is going to help you to update your LinkedIn profile and land an internship. The link is there in the description. Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel and hi Kushal. How are you doing today? Great, great. Uh, hi Nikita. I hope you are doing well as well. Thank you for coming on my channel and today we would love to hear from you your insights, your like your journey and would love to know like more about your experience in general in terms of working with it. So before we start, we would love to know about your introduction. It would be great mm -hmm. if you can tell a little bit more about yourself, your sure. background and where are you currently working now? Sure, sure. I mean, pleasure is all mine. I hope I'll be able to add some value to the students who will be watching this video. Uh, briefly introducing myself would be... Uh, my name is Kushal Vijay, as she already mentioned. I am currently working as a software engineer at Microsoft. It's been around two years now. And previously I've done like a couple of internships at Microsoft only and at a uh, infrastructure as code platform, which is Stack Guardian. I did my BTEC from NIT Jalandhar uh, in electronics and communication. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, this is a bit about me. Apart from my software engineering career, I also create content over YouTube and LinkedIn. If you folks already know mm -hmm. me, please feel free to comment down if you have any other questions and we can proceed further. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, Kushal. Thanks a lot. So as you mentioned that you did actually intern with Microsoft and you also interned with mm -hmm. uh, another organization. Uh, we would love to start with this because I think there are mm -hmm. so many new grad freshers who are studying, who are looking for internships. Mm -hmm. uh, so we would love to mm -hmm. know what was your overall internship experience, how you actually sure. started looking for an internship. Sure, sure. So if we, if we talk about India, we have two kinds of uh, you know placements or internships in general, which is on-campus internships and then off-campus mm -hmm. internships. Firstly, I'll talk mm -hmm. about the on-campus one, which is the Microsoft one for me. What happens is your TNP cell you know contact companies they visit your campuses and like organizes hiring drives mm -hmm. at your uh, at your campuses and for internships as well as full-time hiring uh, of the candidates so similarly in our case also when i entered my third year microsoft came to our campus for intern hiring the hiring drive happened in my campus was of three days comprising of around seven rounds um, starting from an online test then followed by a group fly round which is basically so the hiring happened physically so we had a group fly round where we actually has been given a system design question along with a DSA question uh, which we have to write on papers and then explain a solution as well followed by technical interviews and then HR interview so that was okay. the hiring process that I had for the on-campus interview mm -hmm. uh, then comes the off-campus part which is a bit difficult and that's why in this video, we'll be talking about a lot of things, how students can get opportunities off campus because that is the most difficult part. In India, not every college has this uh, advantage of having some amazing companies to visit their campus. The off campus internship, I got that internship based on the skills I had. So I started freelancing. I was very much interested into development. A friend of mine, I got into freelancing thing and uh, after doing some freelancing projects, I got to know about this particular organization called Stack Guardian, which was at a very early stage, which comprised of only four members when I started. And uh, I got that opportunity from a freelancing platform only, that is People Parad. Be basically, it was a technical interview, and then I had multiple discussions further, like what about the plan, what they are trying to do, because it was an early stage startup. There was nothing. Uh, it's just a plan they had. That then we kick started and actually it was an amazing experience for me because I learned a lot during that process. We built the platform from scratch and today I'm still connected with them and today they are raising funds for the company in millions of euros. So I feel very proud of because obviously the foundation is something in which I contributed. So that's a bit about the experiences that I have and uh, how I got the off-campus and the on-campus internship. Wow, Kushal, this is like, I mean, really, really amazing that, I mean, you shared so many amazing things in last like few seconds and few minutes. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone who are listening and who are looking for an opportunity 
uh, please do follow Kushal for sure. But on the same hand, as he mentioned about multiple things around on campus placements, um, on campus and obviously freelancing. So I would love to know Kushal, um, because you mm -hmm. did mention three words, which are like very, very important, even for a student or someone who's looking for a job opportunity. If in few sentences, if you can share a little bit about uh, someone who is listening to this video, what is on campus placement? What is off campus placement? And then what is freelancing? Because I would love to know like people who are listening and they are not aware of it, then we can just tell mm -hmm. them the difference between them and obviously mm -hmm. how and why freelancing is so important. Sure. So when it comes to on campus, as I earlier mentioned, the college in which you're studying, your college authorities, basically the training and the placement department, uh, contact companies to visit their campuses to hire students. That is in general what on campus uh, hiring means or on campus placement fees. So companies visit your campus and hire only for specific branches that are there. In your college, the competition is among the college students only. Then comes the off campus hiring where companies host challenges, hiring challenges. Uh, and uh, sometimes it is only for specific gender also. Uh, basically there are some diversity hiring challenges that happens uh, even uh, you know now and then so that is off campus hiring like it is open for all the colleges in India sometimes and sometimes it's restricted to some colleges and there is no specific bar of branches also like you you need to be from computer science that's not the bar in case of off campus placement so that's why the competition increases there because masses participate whereas in on campus the number is get restricted because of the branch eligibility, the CGP eligibility and the, uh, the college campus only, right? So, and there is one more caveat to off campus that is they have a lot of screening rounds. So CGPA is something which is kept higher in, in off campus because it acts as a, you know, eliminating state because they, they don't have like thousands of openings. They have to screen the students as quickly as possible. To make the hiring process smooth now comes the freelancing part so when it comes to freelancing freelancing could be defined as providing your services to someone in exchange of money and mm -hmm. it's pretty common in india right now and it's been trending to be honest because after the covid since everyone is at home working from home people kind of understand they do have extra time and they can invest their time to provide their services to others in return of some extra money and if you do have skill, if you are in college, if you know how to, you know, build a website or if you know how to develop an app, it's a great opportunity for you to, uh, to network, to earn money and to, uh, you know, increase your development skills. So that's a brief difference yeah. between all the things. Thank you, Kushal. Again, um, I think this is really, really helpful because freelancing, according to me, is really, really important. A lot of people who actually, if you are not like getting a job because recession is happening, layoffs are happening, yes. the economy is not that great. And uh, mm -hmm. being a recruiter myself, I can actually tell you the economics in terms of companies not hiring to that level. So if you're not mm -hmm. looking or going or getting an opportunity outside, don't feel rejected or don't feel bad. As Kushal mentioned, please go for a freelancing project. Go and try and apply for that start taking some freelancing projects. I'm actually going to put it in the description section about some freelancing websites like Upwork. And I'm also go going to put some about internship websites like Internshala is very famous in India for that. And then we have some startup websites also where you can get good internships. Even those websites I have used when I was looking for internships offline as well as online. So go and check out and uh, do subscribe to the channel because I'm going to share more and more tips as we're going to get more and more videos. I actually want to add one more point here. Yeah, so short all the students who are going to kickstart the journey in freelancing, mm -hmm. go for platform which are not that famous because yeah. the probability of getting mm -hmm. a project there will increase because there is a lot mm -hmm. of competition already on big platforms like Upwork or Freelance mm -hmm. uh, or Total. You can go for Guru.com or People Per Hour because they are Thanks. not that popular and the project frequency is very high. I am also going to put those things in the description as well. So please do check out in the description all the links and start applying if you're looking for any freelancing or any internships. Uh, coming back to our part of um, your internship experience, you did internship in Microsoft, uh, which was obviously an on-campus placement. Do you want to share some tips around like 
because you were a new grad you were a new fresher you don't if i am not wrong you don't had any experience and you were applying for internships but you actually landed a big tech company internship which lot of people are actually dream of so mm-hmm. how did you actually proceed it like where did you show mm-hmm. your impact in your profile when you were applying mm-hmm. even though it was an on campus i understand that um the company came on campus and it might be comparatively easy for if you were applying for an off campus comparatively but still you stood out among your like maybe whole right. batch of students were applying for that same internship so can you share the tips how were you able to sure. stand out even when you don't had any experience sure so uh, let me go back to my second semester actually so i i actually started pretty early i would say mm-hmm. because of the mentors that i had in my college since i belong to electronics background i have to do some extra stuff uh, combining the electronics and the computer science stuff i need to do both of the things hand in hand so i started in my second semester with computer programming and with computer programming i was not aware of like why i'm doing it i was like my seniors told me it will help you in placements that's it that's that's all i know so i started and the best part happened to me was i started liking it and when when you start liking it you you kind of doing it effortlessly and during the process i came to know okay this is something which is necessary now dsa is also necessary so i started dsa during my summer mm-hmm. vacation and i kept on doing it so it, it happens only when you take initiatives so one thing i want to mm-hmm. suggest everyone do take initiatives if you will not nobody will come to you because nobody cares right so uh, i used to take a lot of initiatives i used to go to my seniors and ask what is required what i'm missing mm-hmm. and th- that's why i came to know okay project development is something that i should be doing right now during my second year i started learning about uh, django which is a web development framework i was already very comfortable with python so it's a uh, python framework and i kick started with that so i was doing development and dsa hand in hand so by the end of the second year i was well versed with like dsa i had good projects in my hands so basically what happens you no know, if you are well prepared you are sub- at the back of the head you are sure that you will land something will yep and that was the case for me but i was not pretty sure about microsoft but i was sure that i will get a opportunity it just getting microsoft opportunity was just a cherry over the top of my ice cream one thing that i feel during the whole hiring process that made me stand out was the confidence and the positive attitude that i carried and the the projects that i built for a student just coming out of second year they have given us system design question uh, so mm-hmm. they were mostly looking for the thought process that the student had because of the projects that i i had built already i was able to uh thought of the things which others weren't able to because they were not into development that much or they started pretty late so starting early is obviously a good sign for you to excel later and yep. uh, and, and communication skills obviously the way you convey uh, right mm-hmm. building a solution writing a solution is one thing but if you are not able to convey to the other person then exactly. definitely that yep. that's a solid gap so conveying mm-hmm. your thought process is also one of the skills that i feel is very important awesome no i think all the points you mentioned they are really really amazing in terms of like someone who is not having experience but looking for an internship someone who don't even know how to highlight their projects their skills these points are amazing in terms of like you mentioned about talking to your alumni alumni network is really really important and i myself have watched multiple times go and check out and talk to them understand how they got their internship where are they working if there have there are any opportunities in their companies because your alumni is are someone who actually know what is happening in the industry and they can guide you better so definitely um thanks kushal for sharing those points because they are really amazing um coming back to the part of um if i'm not wrong you actually now working in microsoft and yes. uh, you did internship so i just want to know like did you converted your internship to a full time opportunity or did yes. you applied again after you graduated or were you like mm-hmm. near to your graduation so after the internship completion we had multiple interviews i had two okay. and based on the performance and based on the interviews mm-hmm. we were given the full time offer mm-hmm. awesome so can you share a little bit more about how was that whole process in terms of converting an internship to a full time offer sure. uh, is mm-hmm. there any things which mm-hmm. a student when they were doing internship should keep in their mind uh, what mm-hmm. are the whole process internally how does it work sure 
ours was the first batch who had gone through the virtual internship so okay. doing things in person and doing things virtually is basically you know adding the difficulty level to like by increasing the difficulty level to 200% because it was the first time for us how to explain things how to actually elaborate with professionals industry experts kind of a difficult things to pursue quickly because you don't have a lot of time a lot of the time you just have 8 weeks so you have to learn new things you have to ramp up quickly you have to start collaborating uh, and then present it or convey it to others as well definitely seniors helped and the past learning experiences helped but uh, i i have actually made a video on it what things i did during the internship to actually stand out from the others so hey folks i am going to add that video link in my description section so if you are mm-hmm. looking to learn um as what kushal mentioned please go and check out that link and that video sure. and do also subscribe to kushal's channel because he is amazing in terms of sharing all the technical tips around dsa in terms of how you should crack these interviews um and the link is there below in the description that video actually explains a lot of things so you can watch that later on after the internship we had multiple demos i had three demos and then two technical interviews things do not finish after the completion of the project you have to explain it to the people you have to mm-hmm. actually uh, convey the impact how the mm-hmm. business will be impacted out of the work that you did in the last two months so that is what you know matters a lot uh, during the demo part so i had multiple mm-hmm. demos for different different org leaders so and and it went very well that is one thing that helped and then i had technical interviews which revolved around my project that i did in my during mm-hmm. the internship the dsa mm-hmm. thing and my yeah. in general experience that i had uh, by that time so wow. uh, that was the thing and yeah after the both the interviews we got the result after a month that i got selected nice awesome no i think this is very inspiring and uh, folks as i said like if you are looking for any internship if you are in college uh, please do go through every uh, tips kushal is sharing and please do understand that importance of internship because obviously the first thing which kushal did is like converting his internship to a full time offer that definitely is going to help you in landing a job offer and you don't have to struggle you don't have to worry in your third or fourth year of your university and on the same hand as kushal mentioned it's going to also help you to understand learn more skills like whether you really want to be a software engineer whether you really want to go with this role or you want to explore something else so internships has lot of other importance as well in in someone's life even if i tell about little bit about myself i know this video uh, is about kushal patin journal i have also done like at least three to four internships even in my undergrad plus my masters so internships really really are very important and are really really important in terms of understanding and making that decision and gets you a lot of industry experience so okay. do feel free to apply for it and add in the comment section that if you really are looking for any other help on the internship side um i will go ahead and have like make a new video or a like have one more guest on the podcast to kind of understand a little bit more about the internship thanks a lot kushal uh, for coming on the channel i think this was amazing and um, thanks for sharing these amazing tips because they are going to help so many people who are looking for an opportunity especially on the internship side um and any last tips or any last like words you want to like sure. to share it to the people i just want to say first of all all the folks who have came from my channel do subscribe to nikita's channel because she shares a lot of amazing content on linkedin she is going to do it now on yeah. youtube as well so it will be worthy just the last three things that i always share with everyone is uh, first is uh, ask a lot of questions no question is a silly question and uh, <laughs> yeah. make sure like you don't miss a chance to ask questions secondly whatever you do do consistently because consistency can beat hard work luck or any anything actually so and consistency can make you better at your worst skill so be consistent in whatever you do and third is networking nikita wouldn't be a part of my network i wouldn't be here today so these are three things i share to everyone and yeah that's all thanks a lot thank you kushal thanks a lot again